What about Dino? We don't call him Demo no more. <laughs> he is not Demo no more. His name is Dino on my channel because Moe's don't give out information like this. This is a shakedown right here. Moe's don't give out this kind of information. And Demo was giving out that information. Demo was giving the feds all the ammunition they needed. They wouldn't have known that Rock Hill Thomas was Rock unless Dino said, what's Rock got to do with this? What's Rock? Rock ain't got nothing to do with this. Whoa, Dino. <laughs> give me the case file. Give me the case file. What's her name? Rock Hill Thomas. Yeah, give me the case file. Open it back up. Okay, they're saying that Rock L. Thomas's nickname is Rock. Rock was over in Basie Projects because Marvin was running it. over at the other projects. We had this bro right here, Lulu. Dino just opened the case up on Rock L. Thomas by giving up nicknames in the interrogation room. He wasn't even supposed to be in there. He said he was doing a favor for a cop. Who does a favor for a cop if you in the streets? You don't fuck with the police, I thought. But I'm confused about what's going on in New York City right now. 1992 is in shambles. Unique, one of the baddest mofos on the block is dead. And now Dino is giving up information for a favor for the police. So let me get this right. You doing a favor for the police, telling the police on Rock. That's what you're doing? Who is this? I thought her name was Rock Hill Thomas, but I just found out this episode. Her name is Rock. We got her name, y'all. We found out that Rock Hill Thomas's name is Rock in the Streets. Thanks to Demo. We got to put Dino's name on here. And Dino. Best. We got Rock's name from Dino. Dino is Marvin's best friend, also the driver for the hit on Sal. Now, y'all telling me that Dino giving up Rock's name did nothing. It did nothing. He did nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. He's the best friend of Marvin who killed the mob, who Rock, a.k.a. Raquel, told on mob. Rock told on the mob, but guess what? It doesn't end there. Rock backdoored Lulu with Crown. She backdoor Lulu. He killed Crown. The body for Crown is coming back on the mob who she snitched on. Then she put the hit out on the mob via Marvin while Dino told that her name was Rock. So when you say that Dino didn't give up any information, oh no, he gave up a lot of information because just doing this is tying everything together with Rock. Oh, the mob came over there. What did she say? The white boys attacked us. Oh, why was there some mob members at your doorstep? Oh, well, you know, but guess what? Dino was the actual driver for the mob hit, which Marvin did. So Dino giving up Rock's name just opened up the case, and now they can start linking things together. Now, remember, they said that they don't have any information per the lawyer. They don't have any information at the moment. But what they're doing is they're starting to connect the dots. Now, Special Agent Tanner, he ain't playing around. Garcia was the one that was talking to uh talking to uh Garcia is the one talking to Dino, but the feds came. 
See, Garcia is part of the police department. The feds came and got Raquel. Now, you got two separate investigations, but one task force. The feds aren't giving up all their information to the police. The police got to give it up because once the feds come over, they take over. So Dino giving up this information opened up the case to have the feds go to Raquel's house and start questioning her about everything that was going on in the link to Crown. Because initially they said the Crown body was on Stefano when they brought him in. But he said he ain't have nothing to do with it. He just owns a fish store. So Dino giving up that information provided them the direction to go look at Raquel and bring her down for questioning. Now, of course, they don't have anything right now because the feds aren't going to reveal all that information until it's time to lock your ass up. And you know they got a 98% conviction rate. So Dino, as of right now, is a very bad man. Very bad man. Now, how they got rid of Unique, maybe not that bad. But I don't know, man. It's looking like Dino might need to go. I don't know, man. What y'all think, man? Did he make a mistake going in there and doing a favor for Howard? Hit that like button for him. We got 100 people. Hit that like button. Let's get uh, 75 likes. That ain't nothing. That's just a little 25 piece. It's New Year's, man. Y'all fingers should be fresh and well-rested. It's a day off from work. If you had to work today, hey, man, tell your boss to call me, and tomorrow I'm going to get you Friday off. That's just how it works over here. You know what I'm saying? You subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're on that road to 50,000. But you subscribe to my channel, I'll call your boss up. You give me your boss's number, I'll call him up first thing in the morning. Uh, Yeah, I heard you had people working on New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah, well, we ain't having that because we got Monday mistakes. And they needed to be well rested to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if they real rested, they can go on Cash App, M O E D O T J, and support the channel also. But you had them working on Monday, so you need to be paying them overtime. Now, they said that they offered Trill. That's what the lawyer said. But I don't know, man. I think the feds, I think. They got information and they're still going to be piecing it together because they're they're questioning everybody. So they even went to the, the head of the mob. And if he didn't make a mistake, why did he say I don't know nothing. They didn't got Dino. Dino a snitch on their payroll. Hey, what favor did they show? Pause. Did they show what favor Howard did for him? Because he said he came in here off of a favor for Howard because Howard got him off of something back in the day. Did they ever mention that or it was just, okay, that's just, well, it is what it is. They just threw it in there. Dexter said Howard should have done a better job of preparing him for the interview. Hey, you know, that is true. If Howard knew that they were going to bring him in here, but I don't think so. They don't know that. Uh, they don't know that Dino, I mean, his name is Demo, but we just call him uh, Demo. His name is Demo, but we had to remove the Mo from his name because I'm Mo and I would not have gave up Rock's name. So I call him Dino. He ain't a mo. He's D no because he gave up information to the police, y'all. That's why we call him D no, D N O, not D M O. He he lost the mo privileges when he got in here and told on Rock. That's why I call him D no. He ain't no mo. D no, all right. D no. I don't care what anyone says. I heard him tell on Rock, <laughs> but. Howard, I don't think anyone believed that he's into anything. Because think about it. He's not selling drugs. He just lived in the Baisley projects. Is it Baisley or Beasley? I call it Baisley. I think it's Baisley. 
Remember, he was just the guy that lived there and he was trying to use the elevator. So they don't know that he, they were, because remember, they were just asking him, have they seen Rock over, or Raquel Thomas over there? Have they seen anything? He was just like, nah, I live there and don't nobody know nothing or see nothing. So I don't think Howard, I think Howard was just like, hey, just go in there and talk to him. But he wasn't believing that he knew anything. You know what I mean? Because he wasn't involved in anything. And it was just something minor by saying Rock. But now he's in here and he's confirmed that Rock, Raquel Thomas is Rock. Now, when you hear that name on the street, you're like, ah, thanks to Dino, we know that Rock is a big time drug dealer. Allegedly. We got to open up the case. Sam, you said, I don't think, uh, I didn't think that was a big deal. I mean, it may not seem like a big deal, but this information, this information right here, we know that Rock's nickname in the street, you know, when you go in there, they ask you for people's names, anyone's alias. Well, they didn't know that Rock Hill went by Rock, but guess what? Now they know that she does. She has a connection with the mob. She had a connection with the Basie Project because her brother Marvin was running it. She told the feds that the mob was after Crown, her business partner, because he was into everything. Stefano said he ain't had nothing to do with it. But Dino, he actually drove Marvin to the hit on Sal. That's the connection with Dino to the mob, Rock to the mob. She also told the feds and told Lulu to tell the feds that the mob attacked them because of Crown. Well, guess what? All this information is going to come into play. That's why it's called a RICO. Now, in RICO, all you need is conspiracy. Rock doesn't have to be tied to all of this, but if her brothers get brought down, if she gets tied into it any way, shape, form, or fashion, then she'll go down. And guess what? In the report, when they say Raquel Thomas and they have the list of her aliases, it's going to say Rock. How did they get that? Oh, they got that from an interview with a guy named Dino in the interrogation room. So Dino's name would show up in paperwork because he's the one that gave the information to the police about Rock, her name being Rock. He went back, opened up her case file, gave it to the feds. The feds went to Rock's house that same episode to question her about everything that was going on. So Dino, in fact, gave up enough information that the feds could come and knocking at her door because the feds didn't want anything to do with Rock after she was in the hospital with the sling on her arm when she told that the mob was after Crown and not her and her brother was in the music when they came and attacked the uh, the record store or the record, uh, the studio. So, in fact, Dino gave up enough information that the FBI... Uh, Rock Hell Thomas, we need your ass down here at the precinct for some questioning. So if it wasn't for Dino, the feds wouldn't even be on Rock's trail anymore because Rock was just a victim. But now Rock isn't a victim. She's a potential suspect. That's why we got the FBI. Yeah, this is the FBI. A Rico board. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. FBI, if y'all need me, holla at me. Holla at me. Because Dino just connected the dots for us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's compare and contrast. Let's compare and contrast. Hold on, I got something for y'all ass. Hold on. Let's compare and contrast. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. Okay. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? Rock was the victim. Raquel, no, my bad. Miss Raquel Thomas was the victim. Oh, the white boys was after us. Guess what? The feds never bothered her a day again after this. After they realized, okay, they came after her business partner. We're good. Raquel Thomas doesn't have anything to do with this. She just got caught up in some mamma jamma. You know what I mean? But then we seen Demo give up Rock's alias. Raquel Thomas, what Rock? Rock ain't got nothing to do with this. They said, oh, Rock ain't got nothing to do with this? Okay. Miss Rock ain't got nothing to do with this? Well, now we know what Rock's name is. Bring her ass on down here. Bring her ass on down here for more further investigation. Not the police, the feds. Special Agent Tanner came to her house with three other agents to bring her down because they got information that her name is Rock. 
So now they're digging a little bit deeper and reopened up her file. So Dino did, in fact, give up enough information for the feds to come and knock it. The feds only come knocking when they have information. The police come a knocking just because they be fucking up. The feds are a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How would they bring Rock in if they didn't know that Rock's name was Rock? Uh, I'm waiting for answers. How did the feds know to go to Raquel Thomas, a.k.a. Rock's house? How come they never questioned her about anything else until this episode? Why didn't they? Why didn't they? Why didn't they talk to Rock about all this back then? Now, of course, the lawyer said they didn't have anything. But the case is still open. They're just now doing their research. Remember, the Fed's only been here for, what, two, three weeks? They only been here as long as Rock has been shot. The question is just beginning. This is just the beginning. But we do know for sure Rock Hill Thomas's name is Rock, thanks to Dino. We do know that Dino was the driver of a stolen postal van, which is a federal offense. Uh-oh. Oh, and then Marvin did the hit. Uh-oh, Rock ordered the hit. Uh-oh, they didn't question Stefano. They don't have any information on him yet, but guess what? They're building that case. Why do you think they brought him in for questioning? They said they didn't have nothing on him, but guess what? The case is still open. So now they're asking Rock these same simple questions. Hey, what do you know about Crown? So you know you done fucked up, Rock, because they told Rock. They said, hey, Rock, what do you know about Crown? She was like, oh, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm just an investor. I'm a silent investor. They say, oh, you're a silent investor, but it shows that you own over 51%, so you don't you own the majority of the studio. How'd they get that information? How'd they get that information? Oh, that's right. Dino gave them the name of Rock. They went back into Rock's case. They did some digging, and now they found out that she owned the studio. They tried to pin the body of Crown on Stefano, but it didn't work. Uh-oh. The case is still open. So Dino did give the information because if Dino would have never said Rock's name, they would never have went back into the file. They would have never known that Rock owned the studio. How did they find out Rock owned a majority of the studio? Initially, it was just, hey, they're business partners. They were after Crown. Crown was into something. That was just her business partner. But now the feds know, wait a minute. That wasn't your business partner. You own the business, Rock. And the business passed through several different hands a couple of days prior to Crown getting killed. So wait a minute, Rock. You mean to tell me that you ended up becoming the owner and then Crown ended up dying? So that's, that's what you want to tell me. It just went through Cartier. Cartier owned it for a little bit. He got that back. Rock, Lulu owned it a little bit, business partner. And then Rock, you owned it. And then a couple of days later, he ended up dead. But you said that the white boys was after Crown. But you owned the place. But you got the business. And he's dead, Rock. Wait a minute. You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> we don't have anything on you right now, Rock. We don't have anything on you right now. But we know your alias. We know that you own the studio. And we on your ass. We on your ass, Rock. We on your ass, Rock. Yeah. Now, when you look at Dino giving up Rock's nickname, you start to wonder, if Dino would have never said Rock's name, he would have never went back into the foul. But he went back into the foul and gave the feds the information to go question Rock. And now we know that she owns the majority of the studio. So, in fact, Dino did give up too much information. The investigation is ongoing. At this moment, we may not have anything. But guess what? We're getting the players together. We're getting the players together. That's what we're doing right now. I'm like a basketball coach right now. I know who starts, who comes off the bench, who needs to be traded. I know what's going on. That's why y'all subscribe to the channel. That's why y'all subscribe to the channel. Exactly. They never rely on one fish. Come on, y'all. Hey. I'm telling y'all, I'll do the dirty work for y'all and I'll make it make sense. I'll make it make sense. I told you, you just give me a character. You give me their story. I might go on a little rant and 
just start rambling about some nonsense, but I'll make it connect the dots a little bit later on because now we officially know that not only did she backdoor her brother, she owned the whole studio. Remember, we thought it was a little partnership. Remember, she said I was just a silent investor. Oh, a silent investor, but you own the majority of the studio? And then he dies a couple of days later? Wait a minute. So that's more information than we had in episode one. Remember, episode one, they were just asking about Crown. What happened to Crown? Oh, he's just a business partner. And, you know, he was into it with everybody. But now we know for a fact that the feds have been doing their research and they found out that Rock owns the studio. But they would have never got that information if Dino didn't give them Rock's alias. Don't make me do this, y'all. Don't make me do this, y'all. Don't make me do this. Now, everybody be coming to my channel talking about we need paperwork. I just put this on paper for y'all. This is the work. This is the paper. This is the work. I connect the dots. That's what I do. That's what I do. So I don't need to see Demo's name in paperwork when I heard him tell Garcia that her name is Rock. Rock went over into the other office, got the file out. Well, Rock didn't do shit. Rock is going down. We're going to get her up off these streets. Garcia went in there, said, hey, give me Raquel Thomas's file. Open that mother effer up. He went in there, looked through it, read it, found out that she owned the studio, told the feds. The feds went to Rock's house, brought her in for questioning. Dino gave up too much information. My case is closed. This is 2024. God darn it, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at what I do. Put this away right here. We're going to hold on to this one right here. This right here is the paperwork, y'all. Beat that that's right there on the heart. That's the paperwork right there. Come over here. You want paperwork? Nigga, you want the paperwork? I got the paperwork. Give me where the fuck the paperwork yet. I got the paperwork right here. What this what this shit say? What this motherfucker say right here? Rock's name, Raquel Thomas, aka Rock. Dino told us Dino was the driver for his best friend Marvin, who put the hit on Sal, who was running the Basie project. Rock also told that the mob was after her, and we found out that she owns the studio where she backdoored her little brother. Lulu, and he killed Crown. She owned the business after three, four people may have owned it prior to her getting it. Then he dies two days later. He told on the mob, the paperwork's right here. You want the paperwork? I'll send this out in an email. Put your email in the chat right now. I'll send you a photocopy of the fucking paperwork. You want the paperwork? I got the paperwork. Me. That's who. Me. I got the paperwork. Who got the paperwork on the internet? Me. Who got the paperwork? Me. That's who. You need people like me. What Tony Montana say? You need people like me. The bad guy. You need people like me. Put this right there by the heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What it say? Stay in slow motion. That's how the feds work. Slow motion. This ain't no fast work. Five episodes in, we taking our time. Commit more crimes. Commit more crimes, because since episode one, we know that the body of Sal had dropped. The feds had information. We still don't know how the feds had information about the hit being put on Sal. But the hit was carried out by Marvin by the orders of Raquel Thomas. I told you in the Rico, you ain't got to have your hands on it. It just got to be a conspiracy. So with Dino giving up this information, now they're going to do a little bit more digging into Crown Camacho. I mentioned that that body was going to come back up in the whole studio because I remember before the season started, I said that they could get out of this if Lulu put the whole blame on Raquel and said that she owned the studio. And y'all were telling me, oh, Mo, he ain't going to do that. That's his sister. But guess what? That might be the only out to get this psychopath Raquel Thomas up off the streets or as they call her in the streets, Rock. Uh-oh. Don't do it to him, Mo. I know it's Monday. It's the first day of the year. Take your time. Let all the other content creators catch up. I said, okay, I'm going to fall back. Let's go to another character. Because I just explained to you how Nariko is formed. <laughs> man, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm over here sweating, man. I'm good as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm good as a motherfucker. You got to give me credit, y'all. You got to give me credit. And if you don't, oh, well, the show must go on. Who we got next? Who we got next? Mm-hmm. We gonna have to get rid of Dino. We gonna have to get rid of Demo. Yeah, we gonna call him Demo because R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. The D in digging. Yeah, that's what Demo stands for. They about to dig this nigga a grave. <laughs> dig this nigga a grave. 